This is Q on CBC Radio 1 across Canada, Sirius 137 across North America and internationally at cbc.ca. New York City's Vampire Weekend are with us as our Friday Live guests, big fans of Miley Cyrus and Twitter. They have a new album coming out. It's called Contra. It comes out in January. Uh, but they came to quite a bit of attention with their excellent self-titled debut that came out a year ago, January, uh, January 2008. You guys like January releases, it appears. Every two years, there's going to be a... Yeah, well, we wanted to get it out this year, but... We're we're happy that we got it in under the two year mark <laughs> by a couple of weeks, uh, right? B- because it's going to come out a little earlier in January than the last one. Yeah, the last one was January twenty something. This one's January twelfth, so All right. we beat it. Well, we're looking forward to this new record called Contra. Now you're going to play another song for us. What are you going to play for us? We're going to play White Sky. Is this is it, this is this uh, this is also from Contra. This is a new rec- a, a song from the new album, is what it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, yeah it's it's from the same record. All right. Is this also a debut? This is, well, we've we've been playing this one live in our sets for a while, but this is definitely the uh, Canadian radio debut. Well, that's exciting. I, I, we'll we'll take anything or we maybe, get. Maybe the Toronto is it, based radio debut. No, no, no. It's it's, it's, it's probably it's, the national uh, radio. This debut. might you know this might be the worldwide radio debut. What do you guys think? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Playing the worldwide radio. So you played it on television? Yeah. We did. We oh. played it on the Jimmy Fallon show. Oh. oh. We also played it on French television. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, which also counts as television. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so you played it on television and French television. Yeah. Is what, yeah. Uh, okay. So playing the song White Sky that we've all heard on Jimmy Fallon and, and French television... <laughs> but that has never been played uh, on a national broadcast on radio. This is uh, Vampire Weekend playing brand new music live in Studio Q. An ancient business, modern piece of glasswork Down on the corner that you walk each day in passing The elderly sales clerk won't ask with suspicion The whole of Mona Corporation's given its permission Shines a thousand little Julias that come together in the middle of Manhattan. You waited since lunch, it all comes at once. Modern art bit Eyes for modern art To keep it out the closet Of people who might own it The sins of pride and envy And on the second floor The Richard Serra skate park You waited since lunch It all comes at once While the horses race in taxis in the winter Look up at the buildings Imagine who might live there Imagining your Wolfords in a bar Upon the sink there You waited since lunch It all comes at once
nicely done live in Studio Q. That's New York's Vampire Weekend performing a brand new song called White Sky that will appear on uh, the brand new record, Contra, that comes out in January 2010. A White Sky song unheard before other than French television <laughs> and Jimmy Fallon. Uh, the, <laughs> the, members of, uh, the members of Vampire Weekend, Ezra Koenig, Rostam batman uh Christopher Thompson, and Chris Bayo, uh, and collectively their Vampire Weekend. There are Friday Live guests playing throughout the show. You know, after that first album came out, it really was a spectacular debut for you guys. I don't know if that caught you by surprise, uh, but uh, I remember South by Southwest in in Austin, Texas, which is the industry buzz uh, venue. I remember being this is about a year and a half ago. The talk of the weekend was was Vampire Weekend, and then, uh, oh, well, there you go. The talk of the <laughs> of the Vampire Weekend was you, and and. Uh, and then Spin Magazine had called you one of the best, called you the, the best new band of 2008. And The Guardian, let me find The Guardian quote here, called you a bold band that can balance dexterous originality with an innate pop sensibility. With all of that praise or hype or celebration around you, depending on how you see it, uh, has that made this inevitable sophomore record a difficult one uh, in terms of the pressures you're facing from the outside to match it? Well, it certainly is different that people actually care now that we're releasing our second album. I mean, when we recorded the first album, very few people had heard of us. I mean, we were basically just playing college shows. But the truth is, we've been thinking about recording this album for such a long time, even before the first one came out, that when we finally got off the road and we could go home and start working on the next record, we already had a lot of ideas. So we didn't have any like scary blank slate moments where we were like, oh my God, we need to start working we were always constantly thinking about it so mostly it was exciting just to do something new yeah, so much has been made of your sound the fusion of african sounds with pop or and people trying to pigeonhole what that actually means rustam is it did, did you guys was there conversations that happened in the band based on what you've been called or what people have tried to pigeonhole you as as you head into this second record about what you should or shouldn't sound like was it was, was it creatively limiting at all well i you know, I think African music will be a part of our sound uh, probably forever. And I think on this record, it, it's, it's different um, in, the, in the way that it's, it's kind of been digested by us. So I, I, there's some parts of this record that sound maybe more African than anything from the first one. And there's others that don't sound African at all necessarily. But so sometimes people read into things, you know, a sound that isn't really there. Chris Bale, I guess what I'm saying is, uh, d did you did you get more self conscious about your sound, or have to fight that instinct based on the fact that you've got all this attention now, as opposed to the first record? I think in general it wasn't a reaction to what other people had written about us before, but just a general desire not to repeat ourselves. It sort of came from within the band, not outside it. Uh, it's uh, really good to have you here. You're going to play another song for us in the coming half hour, and we'll we'll have uh, more of a chat. Vampire Weekend, uh, they they their debut album. I think it's it's called Vampire Weekend, right? It's a yeah, yeah. self titled debut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not missing the title somewhere. Vampire Weekend, uh, the the debut came out about a year and a half or two years ago now. Uh, do check that out. The new album is called Contra. It's coming out in January. We'll hear more from them in Studio Q coming up. 